Vancouver, Canada's gateway to the Pacific, and city of many faces. In this southwestern corner of British Columbia is gathered a million or so people and a great variety of different incomes and lifestyles. Many of us are fortunate to enjoy the pleasures of living in this city that we affectionately call home. Most, if not all of us, at times, find ourselves burdened with hardship. Now, mind you, I have no quarrel at all with the concept of rapid transportation or with public transportation, but this is a system which is really best described as being radial transportation, radial in the sense that all of these are spokes leading to a central hub, making the whole area subservient or basically serving one small downtown metropolitan area. On average Vancouver day, 1.5% of all the commuters that come into town do so on bicycles, and some projections estimate that number may double in the next few years. This has left planners and advocates alike scrambling to accommodate the needs of this growing force. One such accommodation is the Vancouver Bicycle Network, a system of roads designed to get commuters from one end of town to another with as little conflict as possible with automobiles. Although the plan is criticized for furthering the belief that cars do not have to share main roads with bikes, it does have its supporters. Times are tough, but let's just step back a moment and we begin to see an astonishing future taking place in downtown British Columbia. The stadium is a state of the art. BC Place is undoubtedly going to be the largest urban renewal project in Canada, possibly in North America, and maybe in the world. We're looking at approximately uh, 12,000 housing units, uh, housing about 20,000 people, about seven or eight million square feet of office space. There'll be parks, there'll be marinas, there'll be waterfront uh, areas, there will be a science center for children. It will be the public heart and gathering place for the people of British Columbia.